Which coins are the top undervalued altcoin projects in the space today? Comment an altcoin bursting with fundamentals and potential. Something like an Ethereum, something like a Solana, something like a Chainlink, Injective, Polygon, Uniswap, hell, even something like a Cardano. Because these coins are quality, but I want something undervalued too. The coin I'm thinking of that I like, which I'm updating you on today, is Polkadot. The Polkadot of the past is quality, but the Polkadot of the future is exceptional. Polkadot has a huge catalyst coming up, Polkadot 2.0. We've talked about Polkadot plenty of times on this channel before, but this video is made possible by a Polkadot Treasury Grant. By the way, the wallet I'd recommend for Polkadot is Nova Wallet. It's the best one. I'll have a Nova Wallet review and tutorial coming out soon as well. But let's get into it. What is Polkadot? What makes it unique? What is the current Polkadot value prop? What can Polkadot holders look forward to going forward? Let's get into it. What is Polkadot? You can think of Polkadot like an alternative Ethereum. It's a decentralized DApp platform like Ethereum, but it's really more of an interweb, a connector, connecting protocols and entities to each other. Ethereum is an L1, but Polkadot is a layer zero. Gavin Wood, the founder of Polkadot, was one of the original founders of Ethereum with Vitalik, with Charles Hoskinson. Are you working with Gavin Wood? He reached out to us and uh, we're still trying to figure out what would make sense, but I'd love to do something with Polkadot. I think that'd be a lot of fun. It's a good community, good ecosystem, great engineers. And as I said before, I think uh, Polkadot is what Ethereum 2 should have been. By the way, Cardano blockchain recently announced plans to adopt Polkadot's tech. Polkadot's tech is so good, Cardano is adopting it. Pretty cool. But to continue, Polkadot was built to embody the ideals of decentralization, interoperability, flexibility, security, very user-centric as in power to the people, and cost-effective. If you're into Polkadot for the tech, one thing you probably know Polkadot for is its parachain auctions. Polkadot's parachain auctions are competitive events where projects bid and lease slots for a set period of time. Parachains are blockchains that are connected to Polkadot's main relay chain. These auctions, this all changes with Polkadot 2.0. Polkadot 2.0 was first announced by founder Gavin Wood in June of 2023, Polkadot 2.0 is set to go live very soon, beginning of 2024. What is Polkadot 2.0? Polkadot 2.0 introduces new features and improvements to make Polkadot more scalable, flexible, and easier to use for developers and businesses. Asynchronous backing is part of it. This increases the execution time, plus enhances efficiency and scalability without sacrificing the security of the network. Another key feature of Polkadot 2.0 is the introduction of elastic cores and something called core time, which enables the network to adapt to changing computational needs. Polkadot 2.0 replaces parachain auctions and crowd loans with block space allocation and core time purchases. This is all to transition to a more advanced, more flexible, fundamentally better new model a very rigid system now becomes more flexible and user-centric. I love this analogy that Gavin Wood uses. He explains the new upgrade in the simplest of terms, 1,000 pancakes. Listen. At the moment, what we do, we, we produce flour and milk mm -hmm. uh, and water and salt and eggs. Mm -hmm. Like we actually have internal means for producing each of these things, yeah. but rather than selling them, we just make pancakes with them. We make um, batches of a thousand pancakes, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and we sell, the only thing that we sell is a thousand pancake yeah. batches or 10,000 10, pancake batches. And that's all very well. Yeah. Uh, but it might be that people don't want to buy 10,000 pancakes at mm -hmm. once. So rather than doing that, what we're now starting to do is to sell individual pancakes. Yeah. We're, that, we're selling um, pancake mix and we're selling even individual, you know, eggs, flour and milk. Mm -hmm. And uh, and by doing this, we can allow people to make things that are not just pancakes, but bread or 
omelets. Uh -huh. <laughs> More recipes with eggs, milk, and <laughs> flour. Milkshake, uh, gelato. <laughs> also, Polkadot is implementing a token burning mechanism, meaning that Polkadot becomes deflationary, or at least could. The burning mechanism creates deflationary pressure on DOT. This balances the overall circulating supply of the token. All of this is something to take into consideration when considering the future value of their token. Also, speaking about future, Polkadot has regulatory clarity. Polkadot was one of the only crypto coins to register with the SEC. They took Gary Gensler up on his offer and they have officially morphed from a security to a software. Polkadot has regulatory clarity. Can you guys chat a little bit around the morphing argument, right? That Polkadot, it was perhaps a security at some point potentially, but it has certainly now at this point morphed into software, right? And how are, do you expect regulators to kind of respond to this argument? And how have they publicly, you know, responded to arguments like this to date? Sure. And this is just an alternative approach. You know, we, we saw what was out there and we decided to take the SEC up on, on its offer to come in and talk to FinHub. So part of what we did was say, okay, we're going to, we're, we're buying into this, right? We're before the regulators, we're buying into this. What can we do to get out of this? And the SEC has very um, helpfully, I will say, provided a way out. People might not necessarily like this way out, but there is a way out of being a security, even if you initially sold something as a security. And that is through its April, 2019 framework that it released. Um, which is available online. And that is the investment company analysis for digital assets. And so within that framework, it gets a lot of, it gets a lot of flack. People say, oh, almost everything is a, is a security under this. And if I were the SEC, I'd say, yeah, that's what we're saying. That's exactly the point. But there also are nine factors where it says, you know, something initially sold as a security may be reassessed at a later point. It may no longer be a security. So part of our process was to show, look, we're applying against this, we're applying our facts against this framework. Mm -hmm. And look, we, in our view, have satisfied these. So there are multiple factors about that. I will just say before, I guess I, I hand over to Angie and Daniel about this point, in terms of reaction from the regulators, during the process, not one time did anyone ever say that this didn't work or that our analysis was wrong. And given that we hope to have long futures in the industry and in legal and in broker dealer world and, and the like, and that you know we are licensed, these are not claims that we would make if we had any doubts in our minds. Also, a favorite meme coin in the Polkadot ecosystem, it seems to be a coin called Dead. It's a meme coin that comes from the idea that people think Polkadot has been dead since 2021. Seems like they have some NFTs or maybe some games or some stuff planned in the future. You can keep an eye on them through their X account or Telegram. But what about Polkadot? What do you think about Polkadot? Keep Polkadot on your radar. Hit subscribe for more videos just like this. We have two more Polkadot dedicated videos coming out in the near future. One is top five Polkadot ecosystem coins and one is Nova Wallet walkthrough review. See ya.